Rick and Morty episode 6 of season 6 is now out for you guys to go and check out. This is the last episode before we have the mid-season break. It will be returning in, I think it's like November. But, hey, we're here to talk about this episode, so we're going to get into it. Smash your comments below. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash that like button, click subscribe, and let's get into this review of episode 6 of season 6 of Rick and Morty. Okay, so episode 6 is out, and look, first 5 episodes, I've absolutely enjoyed this show so far, and episode 6 for me is no different. I absolutely had a ball with this episode. So this episode is all about the dinosaurs coming back to Earth. But they're not just any normal dinosaurs. These are dinosaurs that are very intelligent, that have created technology to be able to travel and walk through space and time itself and even multiversal travel. So they obviously are coming back to Earth because that's what they do. And we find out in this episode that they just go from planet to planet, beaming with life, creating life, just putting the planet right and then moving on to the next one, leaving dinosaurs there and continue on. And they come back to Earth and they're like, yo, where, where are the other dinosaurs? Where are we? And we're like, yo... Yeah, about that. They kind of just died. It's it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. I love how they come in. They just straight up, yo, the monkeys are bald. Like that line was absolutely hilarious. I freaking love that line. That was that was gold. There is so many references throughout this uh, this show, especially in this episode. Like the references to the Marvel movies was absolutely hilarious. The reference to like Amazon Prime absolutely hilarious i i love the references in this episode there was so many different ones from like they were just everywhere and this whole idea about the oscars risk rick wanting to host the oscars is absolutely hilarious i like i was just laughing my ass off i think the comedic timing was on point in this episode i think the jokes were written really well and executed really well i thought this a concept of having the dinosaurs be this like very intelligent beings was an interesting take on this certain sort of creature that we know and i love it i love when they just come in they take over and they like free the world of everything so the world has no worries there's no jobs there's no money there's nothing like it's just a holiday a vacation for everyone and i love that and I love that after time, we kind of like miss the old life. And now we kind of want to like be like, yo, we want to go back to that stuff. Like we like doing that stuff actually. And I love, the, we know the relationship between the president and Rick. And it's absolutely hilarious again here. And that's where we get to find out that Rick wants to host the Oscars and he's willing to get rid of the dinosaurs for him just for that. And I love that. And Rick being Rick, when he gets the portal gun from them, He's like, wait a second. They're giving me a portal gun? Screw this. And like, he is determined to destroy them. Well, not like kill them, but like get rid of them and show them that he is the higher power being. And I love that about Rick. Like, it's absolutely hilarious. And he goes on his way to figure it out. And obviously there's this meteor thing that is chasing him. It's like a live meteor. It's freaking hilarious. And it follows them and blows up everywhere. They go on all these shows when people find out. It's absolutely hilarious. Jerry has his book that gets published without his name. And he starts tries to start a uh, revolution against them. It's absolutely... It's, it's comedy gold. It really is. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I love the ending where Rick goes there and he like proves to them like being selfish and selfless can be two of the same side of a same coin, which I really, really like. And it's hilarious because at the end there, with the whole rift, like that comment that Rick makes when they fix the rift, he's like, we could have milked a whole season out of that rift, and now it's gone. And I just absolutely love it. It was freaking hilarious. And the ending of this episode makes me really excited for the next episodes, for the second half of this season. I am really excited for where they're going to go because... Rick has fixed the portal gun. And he really talks about how they're going back to classic adventures. And I 
love the classic adventures of Rick and Morty. And without the portal gun, which I, I, I don't mind them doing this, taking the portal gun out so that they can't just do what they were doing, jumping from world to world. I don't mind that because it's given us a fresh new take on some episodes that I don't think we would have necessarily got if we had the portal gun. And it keeps it refreshing, keeps you on your toes. But now we are getting the classic stories back by the sounds of it. I am super, super excited that endless possibilities now are there. Now they can really come up with their creativity and really showcase what they can do. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they execute it to the levels of season one, two, three, and four, and not five. I'm not the biggest fan of five, but I really hope so. So let me know in the comments below what did you guys think of this episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, and peace out.